The formation of heavy elements. How were the heavy elements formed? The heavy elements were formed after the light elements. This is only billions of years after the formation of stars. The density inside a star is great enough to sustain fusion for extended time periods, which is required to synthesize heavy elements. Stars are hot and dense enough to burn hydrogen 1, to helium 4. Heavy elements were formed by fusion of lighter nuclei in the interior of stars. This process is stellar nucleosynthesis. Layers near core of stars have very high temperatures enough to nucleosynthesize heavy elements such as silicon and iron. There are many nuclear synthetic pathways or nuclear fusions to produce heavy elements. This includes triple alpha process, carbon nitrogen oxygen cycle, and the alpha ladder. In the triple alpha process, the alpha particles refer to helium-4. Thus this reaction involves the fusion of three helium-4 atoms. Let us watch how the triple alpha process works. Two alpha particles fuse together and forms a beryllium atom. Then the beryllium atom fuses with another alpha particle, to form the carbon atom. The steps of the triple alpha process results in formation of carbon-12 atom. The process of the carbon-nitrogen-oxygen, or CNO cycle, uses the carbon-12 atom as a catalyst, to form more alpha particles, or helium-4 atoms, in larger or hotter main-sequence stars. In the alpha ladder, the fusion of elements with alpha particles, or helium-4, continues. And heavier elements are then created all the way to iron. This makes the sun more massive. Let us watch and see how the alpha ladder process works. It starts with the fusion of carbon-12 atom and alpha particle. It produces oxygen-16 atom. Then the oxygen-16 atom fuses with another alpha particle, and produces a neon-20 atom. The neon-20 atom fuses with an alpha particle, and results to a magnesium-24 atom. The magnesium-24 atom fuses with an alpha particle, and produces a silicon-28 atom. Thus, each atom fuses with an alpha particle in sequence, until the process reaches the formation of iron. What about those elements heavier than iron? How were they formed? The elements heavier than iron cannot be formed through fusion, as tremendous amounts of energy are needed for the reaction to occur.
All the elements heavier than iron are formed in a supernova. A massive explosion of a star. In supernova, neutron capture reaction takes place, leading to formation of heavy elements. These heavy elements are created by addition of more neutrons to existing nuclei, instead of fusion of light nuclei. The Rapid Neutron Capture Process or R process involves rapid capture of neutrons by the atom. The R process is responsible for the creation of approximately half the atomic nuclei heavier than iron. The slow neutron capture process, or S process, involves slow neutron capture in red giants. In summary, the formation of elements from carbon up to iron is known as stellar nucleosynthesis. This involves the triple alpha process, the carbon nitrogen oxygen cycle, and the alpha ladder. Elements heavier than iron like uranium or gold are produced through the supernova. It involves the rapid R process, and the slow S process.